Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Crucible League 3.21. In this episode, I'm going to be showing uh, my skellies applying six brittle to these enemies. You see, six brittle, um, 30 scorch, 20 sap, so that's 20 less damage, 20 percent less damage. Uh, we have uh, six percent base crit applied for our minions, and uh, 30 percent less Ellie res. Um, okay, so now I'll show you it also on this boss. Show you it on a map boss. So this is Megara, um, 3.6, 16, 3.7, 26%, uh, 4.1 brittle. Uh, we could put a corpse nearby, 3.9, 4.9, so probably a big ass crit. 4.9 on a boss. So the minions only have normally a base crit of 5. So to be able to gain another um, 5 is massive. It, they can actually gain 6 on bosses if I had more damage. Um, it, it scales with damage. Uh, you can see that the skellies are squishy. They only have 11,600 HP, but this is a one link skelly. It's just a single skelly in a, in a ring. Um, and then Alberon's for the perma skelly. All right, now to explain how the heck I am getting brittle on the skellies and how this is all happening. So it all began with this wand. I went... Of the tier 5 mods, one of the coolest ones that I would love to be able to try a build around would be this Skelly one. So we found Skelly... Well, I knew right off uh, League Start when I saw this, I was like, This is a possible thing! I just need to get it and I can show it. So, summon skeletons and holy relics convert 100% of their physical damage to a random element. So, I always wondered if I could get one gem, one minion, to do all three Ellie's, so it would do the full Secrets of Suffering package. And we have it. They built it with the Skelly. And then the fact that the Summon Skelly could also be permanent through the new Alberons. This allow enabled this combo. Uh, so yeah, this for the 100% conversion without using um, Triad Grip. Also, Triad Grip would only be one element. This gets all three. Um, and then 100% increased effect of non-damaging ailments inflicted by the summon skeleton. So this will increase the effect of the chill shock, etc., the brittle. Um, and then not ignite. <clears throat> so then this is huge. And if you did the two-handed version of this, because there's a one-handed version, a two-handed version, it's 200% increased effect of non-damaging ailments inflicted by the skelly um, instead of 100%. So that's really cool. And then my wand, what I was actually going for was just overwhelm fizz, base crit, you know, normal stuff. I was going for other stuff, but I hit this. So we figured out, figured I would uh, fully level it, use the skelly and show it off what it, what, what's possible. And then, uh, yeah, when you put skelly, I put a skelly 21 in this ring, replica Malachi's artifice. So it gives socketed gems have secrets of suffering. Secrets of Suffering means um, instead of applying Ignite, Chill, Freeze, or Shock, you're going to be applying Scorch, Brittle, and Sapped. Um, especially since they it said that the n increased effect of non-damaging ailments, so it's not going to increase the effect of the Ignite. So you turn Ignite into Scorch, which then does increase the effect. Uh, and so Scorch can delete 30% uh, percent of the enemy's elemental res, which is disgusting. Uh, Brittle is 6% base crit. My minions start with 5, so giving them 6 is like 120% more because um, you double it and a little bit more. And then sapped, uh, making the enemy deal less damage up to 20% less. So... This is gigantic and actually makes you more want to be an elemental build because you'll be deleting their elemental resistance. Uh, you could even be all Ellie like this one where it's doing all three cold, fire, and lightning. Um, and then, yeah, brittle, you'd be a crit build and sap is just making the enemy deal less damage. So this wants to be an elemental crit build. And honestly, elemental like cold crit, it makes sense so that you make the skellies do more 
cold so you can hit a bigger brittle so you get more base crit um you'd hit even harder uh and this combo because the skelly is a one link you can't link it with any support gems to get it to have more damage so you would need it to have more cold if you wanted a bigger brittle um so that's one way i was thinking of doing it would be like you do hatred and cold scaling and instead of like how i have pride and dread banner um and the nearby enemies take nine percent increased fizz on the animate guardian or vulnerability like there's all this stuff that isn't optimized in this build this was just because i i got the wand and i wanted to show off what's possible um but it but it kind of like is completely different from what i'm actually doing because i'm doing fizz with the zombies and the brutality so then uh, I'm not really taking advantage of the Scorch, and uh, I'm also not giving them extra cold to help this Brittle actually hit 6% on bosses. You were seeing, like, 4.9, which is still really good for a T16 map boss getting 4.9 Brittle. Uh, obviously, I'm now curious what an Uber boss would be with this current setup. Uh, I guess I guess I could do it. But <laughs> Uh Oh, there's also another option where uh, because it's 100% increased effect of non-damaging ailments, you could uh, actually just have them still deal fire, cold, and lightning and not convert it with the uh, replica Malachi's artifice to the Secrets of Suffering for the um, alt ailments. So you could keep it as chill, freeze, and shock. So you could get a, like a 50 shock, 50 more, and you could also have chill and freeze in the build. Obviously, the ignite wouldn't have the increased effect, but it would still be working. And then you could actually then not have this ring, and it opens up your skelly to be a main link. You could have it as a six link. You could have it as a four link. You could have it as whatever you want. Um, and then you could support it to do the extra chills and shocks, etc. Uh, freezes, uh, link it to do more damage so it actually does stuff. Um, you could give it more life so they actually survive. Because one of the biggest issues, best case scenario, you get six brittle, everything's working, you're doing giga damage. No matter what, the skeletons are still squishy. 11,600 versus my 34,000. It's like a third of the HP. Um, it's really, really squishy. They can't even survive T13 blight maps. They don't survive T16. I have to resummon them, which makes the Alberon's Warpath not actually legitimate of this permanent and follow you because they just die. So I'd have to resummon them. So then an alternative is you could just be running Blessed Rebirth. You don't even need Alberons. And then you could just have Skellies in Uber bosses applying these ailments, including alt ailments. And they will live because they can't die for a couple seconds. And then you don't have to worry about their survivability. But then it's not a permanent minion. So this is about making it an automatic AFK um, brittle. But you could technically make it a really powerful Blessed Rebirth brittle. Um, and then it's just a normal ability. But it's a minion ability that can apply it, which is really cool. And then you could just keep it as the regular Skelly even. Not even go Secrets of Suffering with the Brittle and the Scourge. And just go regular Shock and Freeze. Um, and link it up. And then you could summon it with ble for, for Bless or Birth. And not worry about its survivability again. And just use it for bossing. Um, for the extra Shock and Chill. But uh, yeah. This is the combo. And this is using a Tier 5 um, Wand. So pretty much it would be this mod the replica malachi's artifice and the alberon's warpath but technically you could also go without the ring and go without the boot and just use uh bless rebirth and then just use skellies in anything and have this crazy effect of <laughs> all three le uh and increase effect of their ailments easy Two point seven, 2.9 it's decent actually 3.9, 3.1 So it'd be less than that So yeah, uh, my main feedback Skelly's low life um so it's hard to permanent them cost a whole boot the ring costs a whole ring to get brittle and scorch which then you really want to probably be elemental and maybe even cold so that you can actually scale the brittle and the and the stuff on the bosses 
um, to get the full 6% base crit, and then you'd want a full full scale crit even more, and, uh, and this is how you would get 100% crit, and then you could delete the reses and stack this with curses to really delete reses, um, and you would do really crazy damage, probably, because if you had, like, the extra frostbite, um, hatred, just a bunch of cold stuff, then the brittle 6 seems a lot easier. Uh, but for this version, it doesn't seem as good because I'm um, scaling physical. And then I don't really want to do the whole scaling around this build because it's skeletons and the skeletons are too squishy to survive. They're, they're just too low life. Um, there's nothing you can do to increase their base life uh, over other minions. The other minions just have more base life and so are easier to keep alive. Um... And, and so even though the benefit's so big, uh, I don't really uh, see how you would make this really uh, an actual permanent, like, deep delve permanent skelly build uh, compared to other minions. I, I could definitely see this continuing to work as a Blessed Rebirth build where the skeletons are immune to all damage uh, for a few seconds and you just summon them and then you wouldn't even need Malachi's Artifice. You could just build it as a normal thing and you have a 100% increased effect of the non-damaging ailments and you have a 100% free conversion. Uh, so that would be huge and you have the shock and the freezes uh, and then you wouldn't even have to uh, use the ring or the boot and then you just use one notable on a medium cluster and then you get access to this uh, tier 5 mod which is really powerful uh using it that way is probably the most powerful because this is a meme what i'm doing since they can't survive unlucky dude 